Delegates and guests, please welcome Esmeralda Saria, Assemblywoman from District 27. Good morning, California Democrats! Buenos dias, Democratas! I am thrilled to be here today looking at this beautiful, diverse crowd that makes up our party and truly reflects our state of California. My name is Esmeralda Soria. I'm the Assemblywoman for the 27th Assembly District. I proudly I proudly represent Fresno, Madera, Merced counties, the heart of the Central Valley. Where are my Central Valley folks? <laughs> California Central Valley is a unique and diverse region of the state. We're a mix of urban cities and small rural communities. And the eight counties that make up our region have a majority Latino population. In fact, from Stockton to Bakersfield, we are represented by eight Latino and Latina assembly members and senators. And a fun fact, the entire Central Valley is represented by five women senators. All this to say is that exciting things are happening in the Central Valley as we have transformed the landscape of our politics over the last decade by sending Democrats to Sacramento fueled by the Latino vote. It is the Latino vote in the Central Valley that has helped transform the landscape of politics across this state. For those that don't know, the Central Valley has served as the margin of victory in several statewide races. And as we saw in last November, our legislative races are often decided by just a handful of votes. Those are Latino votes. However, we've also seen the consequences of our failure to organize and invest early in the Central Valley and in the Latino turnout. Last cycle, we lost two congressional races we had no business losing. Those outcomes are unacceptable because when we give up Democratic seats, we know what the alternative is. Lawmakers that do not share our values and ultimately support policies that are detrimental to our communities and the progress we've made. So we must start working now to win back the House. Will you help us win back the House? Investing in the Central Valley and the Latino vote will be absolutely crucial. And I don't mean investing 60 days before an election, no. We must be investing 24-7, 365 days a year to engage and organize our people. We must also invest early in the recruitment, training, and election of high-quality candidates. And we must invest in the infrastructure by training our new crop of local political consultants, fundraisers, and campaign managers. When we invest in homegrown talent that reflects the community, the impacts are far-reaching and long-lasting. I know firsthand that those investments pay dividends. I started my political career as a campaign canvasser, and today I proudly stand before you as an assembly member representing not just the Central Valley, but representing a targeted seat. So remember that investing in the Central Valley and Latino voters is an investment in our shared future, and it is an opportunity to demonstrate our Democratic Party's commitment to equality, justice, and the well-beings of all Californians. When Democrats win in the Central Valley, California wins. So Democrats, thank you so much for helping this daughter of immigrant farm workers get a seat at the table. With your help, we will make sure that I keep this seat. So let's organize, let's not agonize, y si se puede.